Thank you. You're very welcome. So this Belgravia Belgravia room. This is the hotel where Michael Jackson used to stay. I'd never been here before. It used to be a hospital, would you believe? Hello, good morning everybody. Um, it's actually, Myrtle is in a really weird mood this morning. She's been for a nice long walk. I thought it would tire her out, but she's just being cheeky. Are you being cheeky? Are you being cheeky? Yes. So, uh, sorry, stop fiddling with my hair. So it's sunny, but it's been pouring with rain. It is so autumnal, and I bet you've all felt that as well. Um, you will have seen on my uh, Instagram that I've been wearing boots. I've been wearing my boots quite a bit over the past few days. Um, but I also wear these. So these, how can I do this so that you can see? Let's hope my landlady's not looking. These are my fantastic, Clergy brogues that I wear. I wear late summer into autumn and I'm wearing them today. I only ever wear them with dresses and I love clergy. So I'm going to kick today's video off with a look at this season's clergy shoes. Now, this is not sponsored. I gain nothing. They don't give me free shoes. They don't give me discount. They, they give me nothing, um, which is fair enough because um, I love when I promote something that I'm wearing and you all go for it and then email me or comment or just say, look, I got them, I love them, I understand. And I know that these shoes are in the luxury market, but they last for years and they are so, so comfortable. For fashionable shoes, they are really comfortable. So there is no agenda. I am just going down to the shop because they've just texted me and said, do you want to come and look at the new season? Myrtle, Myrtle. Everyone's watching you. Um, I probably am not gonna buy any because I don't think I can afford any. I truly don't think I can at the moment. I've also got quite a few pairs of shoes, but I love boots. Anyway. Clergy. So, um, I have three pairs of Clergy, just to remind you of the ones I have. These are the ones I promoted in the summer. The white brogue, they sold out almost immediately um, after I promoted them. They do a winter version, which is why I'm going down to have a look. And these I bought two summers ago. I wear these non-stop. These are so comfortable. Um, so yes, and if you're short like me, uh, they're fantastic clergy shoes for short women, but they also do flats. So, this little devil, you are a little devil. I am, whilst the sun is shining, I'm going to go down to clergy. I'm going to actually uh, just film their latest collection, and then it's up to you. As I say, um, they sell out very, very quickly. Do you want to see what Myrtle's up to? But we're not biting the clergy. We're not biting. <laughs> I love you. I love you. mine as you know one of uh, three pairs of clergy hello everybody 
Um, so, I'm going to do a quick whiz round. This is their new collection. As you know, I live in Clergerie shoes. You know that. Um, and I am really interested in what they have here uh, this season because if you know my Stella McCartney shoes, my, no, my Stella McCartney boots, uh, there are their own version of those which are just glorious. They do them in um, patent and they also, well, I'm going to show you them. So let me just show you my choices of this season's Clergerie. So these are very like my Stellas. You know I have them in grey. So they are just above the ankle, which is so flattering. And they look great with trousers or with skirts. And that is in a leather, but they also do them in a beautiful suede. These are what I have my eyes on. Look at these, white. Now white boots are very, very in. Um, Sheer Lux, they were all wearing white boots, but these are white patent. Great for the English winter, or in black patent, or just in a matte leather. But I'm going to try these. And my other choice, these are to die for. Now, I'm trying to work out, was it Chanel or Gucci that brought out a, a beautiful court shoe? I love this. This is in cream and black. Um, so I'm going to try that on as well and they do it in a lilac but my white shoes that I wore for the summer from Clergery that completely sold out thanks to you um, was a white lattice version of these and these are leather and suede um, and they come in brown or in black and they do like a desert boot a desert boot version just stunning, absolutely stunning. Also, you need to know that Clergerie do half sizes, which is so rare, absolutely, I love them. So these would go with trousers, skirts, dresses, so comfortable and classic, cream and black. realized I never ever talk to you in the evening because um, you know other influencers say oh I'm just gonna settle down now and we're gonna take the dog out and have dinner and watch a bit of Netflix well of course I just can't do that because I go out to work um, every night well four nights a week and um, and I don't get back until half past one in the morning so my working day, as far as my radio show is concerned, starts at eight o'clock at night, and I'm just setting off now. But I thought I would, and sometimes I actually do take you on my walk there, which I love. I never tire of my walk there as I walk through Marylebone. But I just thought I'd show you what I'm wearing to go to work because it is, it is cold this week, and I love corduroy. And we used to call this in the 70s elephant cord. So it's very thick corduroy. I love the color. And I'm wearing it with my Chloe boots. I've perched you here because the light is dark almost outside, but there is some light here. So these are my, let me just show you my Chloe boots, you'll remember. And this, this top is from a French brand from Marseille, uh, the shop is on Marylebone High Street, called Cezanne, 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 <laughs> something like that. And um, yeah, I love, I, I bought a couple of pieces from them. And um, 
I wear this because I'm, I'm just not into my coats yet. I don't want to put a coat on. So I wear it with my great big chunky cardigan from Italy. Let me show you that. Sorry about this. Really isn't very professional. But this is what I wear it with because as I said, it's not really coat weather. But I just wear it with this. And that's fine, just for my walk in. And then of course, I get a cab to take me home, but it's really snug and um, very autumnal. Anyway, I better go into work. I'm wishing on, I'm gonna be late. Hello, 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 hello. In from <laughs> I've just got in from work. It's half past one in the morning, and this is the welcome that Myrtle gives me when I get home. <laughs> Don't you, Mert? Yes, you shall please. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, <be> careful! <gasps> Anna said. <laughs> Anna said I shouldn't make a fuss when I get in. <laughs> Because it gets her overexcited. But how can I not love this greeting? So what we're going to do is go, oh gosh, I'm so tired. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> what we're going to go do is go up on the roof without waking the neighbours out because um, I can't take her outside for a pee. She won't turn left. Oh, look at the state of me. So I take, but I want you to see what she does when she runs back down the corridor from having a pee. She's so overexcited, it's hysterical. So we're gonna go up on the roof. We're gonna go up on the roof, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is my favorite bit about the whole day. Right, come on then. Now you must just watch her running down the corridor. How she doesn't wake everybody up. It's two, no, it's quarter to two in the morning. Come on then, Mert. Hello, I just thought I'd have a little bit of a chat before I set off today because today is a day of two halves. Um, it's, gosh, it, it, it truly is. I'm doing two things today that couldn't be more opposed if I tried. I'm wearing my Paul Smith Paisley dress from last winter. Do you remember this? I absolutely love it. It's a midi and I'm wearing it with my Stella McCartney grey boots. Um, Myrtle's here bringing me a toy. Whenever I come on camera, Myrtle likes to get involved. I think she loves a lens. Shall I just show you what she's doing? Oh, she's gone. Oh, she's gone. She obviously doesn't love a lens. So, yes, what I'm doing now is I'm leaving the house to go to two, um, well, one's an event and one's a lunch. Um, and I, I won't have time to change, so hopefully this dress will suit all occasions. Um, I am going, first of all, I'm going to meet a member of my extended family, and it's too involved to go into, but I am so proud of him. He is called Michael. He has been on this vlog, well, his music has been on this vlog before. Um, he calls me his auntie. Um, he's been on Radio 1 and... Um, He's a DJ, but not like Tony Blackburn DJ. He's one of those DJs that are really hip. 
he's called DJ Pinty. So um, if anyone is into DJ music, I mean, he, he must despair of me. Anyway, he is the most modern, edgy person I know. I've known him all his life. He texts me for like the first time in two years and said, I'm at the BBC, are you there? Should we meet? So I'm going in, I'm gonna take him out for lunch. As a good old auntie would. Um, and we're going to go to the Riding House Cafe, which is just around the corner. But Anna is um, on Radio 2 with Jeremy Vine this morning. So Anna's just texted me saying, I'm going to be in um, Radio 2. Are you around? I could come and do some training with Myrtle. Well, Myrtle, as you can hear, with her squirrel, uh, has been spared training with Anna uh, because... Um, I don't have time to come back here. I've got to go straight on to the next event. So I'm going to meet Anna. Anna's going to come and I think have a cup of coffee at the Riding House Cafe. And then after that, I am going to the, now hang on, what's it? The Lanesborough, the Lanesborough Hotel, that massive big old hotel on Hyde Park Corner because Paula's Choice, and I'm an ambassador for Paula's Choice, are having an event and Paula is going to be there. So I've been invited to come along, meet Paula, and I am so excited about that. As you know, I love Paula Cho Paula's Choice uh, products, and to meet the founder herself, I am really looking forward to. So that's what I'm doing. Um, two completely different um, events, and then I'm going into work. Um, so, what is she doing? her squirrel she's got her squirrel and she wants me there's hardly any of this squirrel left she always reminds me of a dolphin when she does this what do you want me to do with it what do you want me to do with it if I try and take it from you Myrtle you'll just pull here give Anna taught you give. Give, Mert. There's no chance. Maybe I'll cancel my lunch and Anna will come and do you some training. Yes. She hasn't learnt much since Anna last came here. I've not been good with the training at all. No, 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 I don't even know if Michael wants to be on the vlog. It's not going to be on the vlog. Hey, you are now. This is the coolest person that has ever been on. And they're talking dogs, would you believe? They're talking, dogs are the great leveller, Joe. You know, and you can always judge a person by their dog. So, um, Anna's just been on Radio 2. Um, Michael has been on the BBC as well. We're in Riding House Cafe. We are basically 360 degree media citizens. We're now discussing that. Um, I know, and um, we're just having lunch actually, it's just no, it's lovely, I'm um, just pop in after doing Radio 2 in the studio, which uh, was exciting for me. Ask Michael about his dog. Michael, so, um, tell us a bit more about your dog, Michael. My dog is big, fluffy, friendly, and I think he's got ADHD. He's literally, he like, has the same kind of characteristics as me, so he gets really excited really easily, he gets jumped up. It's basically like me, if I was a big, fluffy dog. Well, from they... Italy, my, um, so they, they do say dogs are like their own. But interestingly, there is some recent research out. That, um, and that's where we have to leave it. They're happily talking about it. In fact, his dog has been on my blog. Um, yeah, Minty. Yeah, Minty and Numhead. Minty and Pinty. Yeah, Minty and Pinty. Um, I'll leave a link to Pinty and Minty. Thank you. You're very welcome. So this Belgravia, Belgravia room. This is the hotel where 
Michael Jackson used to stay. I've never been here before. It used to be a hospital, would you believe? And it's absolutely stunning. So I'm here for a Paula's Choice event. I'm going to take my cardigan off before anybody sees me. And then I'm going to go in. and that was, <laughs> nobody knew what the internet was, but we got orders, and I, you know, I remember when the first 25 orders came in, I remember people asking me, why did you launch on the interest questions from reporters anymore? How do you repair sun damage? Don't do it in the first place. I, I don't even know where to start, but because this is skincare, I'm just gonna look at it from the issue of skincare, but estrogen loss, and it's about us ladies, estrogen loss is devastating for skin. Devastating. The research is absolutely without doubt that loss of estrogen ex causes whatever sun damage, aging we've experienced, epigenetic sun damage, epigenetic pollution damage, and anything else, Estrogen then just adds to the mess. When you start losing estrogen around the age of 40, that estrogen loss not only causes bone depletion and loss of collagen, it also has a very specific effect of causing crepey skin. Peptides do it by influencing the pathways of communication. So for example, some peptides can communicate to tell skin to stop the pathway of making unhealthy melanin. Oh my gosh, this is when I have to race like anything to get to work. That overran, she was amazing. All I kept thinking is, I want a night out with Paula. Her charisma, her energy, her intelligence, just extraordinary. That was one of the best um, talks. But gosh, do I need to be on that bus? Probably, I'm gonna get a bus around this side. One of the best skincare talks I've ever heard. Utterly brilliant. Um, but then I love the brand. I am so late. This is Hyde Park Corner. And um, I'm now, I can either get a cab to the BBC or a bus. And times are hard, so I'm gonna get a bus, but I might be a little bit late. Anyway, look at this amazing place. This building here, by the way, is number one London. That's its address, number one London. Imagine living there. cardigan on now I'm frozen oh this is uh, the Queen Mother's gates there's still flowers here for the Queen look at these gates they're beautiful
I seem to be forever starting the day off sitting in front of this camera, applying copious amounts of makeup. I, uh, gosh, one of the things Paula did say last night is do not use um, fluorescent, what do you call this, shimmer. This whole palette is shimmer. Um, when you get to a certain age, because it just highlights the wrinkles, and I, this is, uh, this is the only eye palette I have, so I really should stop using it because they're, well, that one's not shimmery. I should have been using that. But she's absolutely right. Anyway, last night was amazing. It's early in the morning and I am getting ready to go out. There's Mert. She's had a walk and people said, hang on a moment, you're in your pajamas and you say you've walked Myrtle. Yes. I walk Myrtle in my pyjamas, I pull my uh, Fiorucci jacket over, I put my leggings over my pyjama bottoms and I walk her and I come back and then I lounge around in my pyjamas. So yes, I'm in my pyjamas most of the day if I'm not going somewhere because I love them. Silk pyjamas are so comfy. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so Paula, absolutely brilliant evening and I learned so much about her. So here we go again, applying the war paint. Um, I'm going into Soho, I'm gonna walk, it's much sunnier today. So I'm gonna walk into Soho because I have a gig at, here you are then. I'm at a gig, look at the state of my slippers. Look, this is, this is my slipper. This is my, she's, the inners have come of the, away from the outers, and this is Myrtle. She's destroyed my Argentinian slippers that Frankie brought back for me. Anyway, my fault. She's got loads of toys, but she loves the slippers. So, yeah, I'm going to walk into Soho, and um, the gig is for my job at the BBC. So I'm not allowed to film in there. It's in Ronnie Scott's. So I can't. I can't vlog in there, but I might vlog around it. You know I love that walk into Soho. Um, and I just, I just, uh, I don't want to get indulgent. I can't bear people who sit and say, gosh, you know, I'm so busy, I'm so tired. Um, it's just very interesting when you, so I don't edit everything. I say, I, shot list everything i film everything shot list it give the timings and send them to philippe and he edits them puts them together adds music works his magic but i do actually obviously sit and look at a lot of me which isn't always at this age the most uh confident building <laughs> you know looking at this face with and without makeup at the end of every week, shot listing isn't always that, uh, what's the word? Confident building, whatever. It's early. Um, but my job is four nights a week I work until I get home here at half past one in the morning and I start work at eight o'clock at night. And I do think at my age, it takes its toll. Now, I am lucky to have a job. Am I lucky to have a job? I've earned the right to have that job. Um, but the hours are very unsociable. And when I look at my face, when I came back from holiday, those vlogs, and that was just like three weeks ago, oh my gosh, my face was fresh and open and tanned. Paula says, by the way, Paula from Paula's Choice says there is no such thing as a healthy tan. All tans cause inflammation, therefore bad. But I've only been back three weeks and I can see already what happens. And it's also winter, isn't it? We tend to close up a bit. But I just, I just think that I, I, I do, I am sleep deprived. <laughs> A lot of the time and when I look at my face I can see it and probably you can anyway I may not keep this clip in because what's the alternative if I don't do the job and that would mean disaster we wouldn't be living here Myrtle would we we wouldn't be driving a mini around Marylebone 
So Joe, just shut up, get on with it. Apply another layer and hit the ground, Jack. Oh my God, this is hysterical. I have never walked at a great distance in this gold leather skirt. And because it doesn't have a slit at the back, I can only take tiny little steps. So I'm like, I'm just trotting. I'm trotting to Soho. Now, I've come this route because, talking about this gold leather skirt, they get so many compliments. Every time I wear it, I get comments, where did you get the gold leather skirt? I got it here. It's a shop called 66. It's on Bolstrode Street in Marylebone. It is only open for a few hours a week. In fact, she puts a sign up. Ah, Wednesday. Wednesday, she's open between one and five. So what I will do is on the way back from my event in Soho, I will come in here just for you to see if there are any more leather skirts because she used to do them in silver as well as gold. So I will do that. Today is our lucky day. male fan everybody oh my god I so one of the few yeah do you um do you live around here no no I live out in the uh, bucks oh right so you're just yeah, down yeah. in this area in yeah. Harley Street yeah That's, so you um, stopped me tell everyone you stopped me okay. I didn't stop no you. I know I did absolutely <laughs> I'm dashing off go 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 I love, I love your show on the radio uh, want you back in the afternoon I want to be back in the oh, afternoons no. as well oh, no, we miss you I know it's dreadful and Robert and, and Ro Robert. I've just been with Robert yeah we've just been at um, Ronnie Scott's oh right yeah Fabulous. but they'll never put me back there so don't understand anyway take, take care bye seat, bye right. Oh wow, how lovely was that? Um, yeah, I don't often see, I don't often get stopped by male um, fans. Anyway, listen, I, um, I've been at Ronnie Scott's, it went on for three hours, very enjoyable, really, really enjoyable, but I am now running in this tight leather skirt um, because I want to take you to this shop, to 66, to see if they have any more of these gold skirts or indeed in silver or whether she will order them for you so I'm not sure what time she shut but I'm running I'm in Harley Street now so I'm running this is the home of the gold skirt so for every every outing of this skirt I'm probably asked by 50 people truly where did i get the skirt i got it here at 66 bolstrode street in marylebone and it's it is like you need to be local to know or you need to have come to the original 66 which was in marylebone high street when i first moved there and 
it's come to Bolsrose Street, but it's still called 66. So, you know, those in the know, no. It's run by Jane, who really doesn't want to be on this vlog. I forced her um, because I said, look, I'm going to get there before they close. This is Jane. Jane, you, everyone is going to be so upset. Do you still sell the gold skirt? Sadly, they've all sold out. They all sold out. And you said to me, when I was going to buy this, you went, this will be the most useful skirt. And I thought, hang on, a gold leather skirt. You actually, I've worn it to everything, to everything. You can yeah, wear it. I mean, I've got the same skirt. Yeah. And I wear mine to everything. And it's the best skirt I've ever had. It is the best. This doesn't help any of you. I'm so sorry. You're all going to be so upset going, yeah, yeah, well, aren't you lucky? And also, Jane is tiny like me. And it just suits, sorry, everybody, it just suits our size. It was also in silver. I begged her to get some There's more one in. There's silver left. One. There is one, one silver Actually, left. I one. Oh no, I sold the silver. You're joking. I've got one gold left. One gold left, actually. This will be gone by Sunday. So I post this on it's Sunday. Size 10 to 12. Which is my size? The size? No, no, it's bigger than you. Okay, so yeah. this is it, everybody. The last. And that's, there's that one as well. And there's that one. Is that black leather? Black. With black. Le oh gosh. And that's the so, last one. So hold that up in the mirror, Jane. So there. That is black leather with silver. Or there is one gold. You need to get down here now. Remember the opening hours. The opening <laughs> hours are the most eccentric. I, I once wrote about this shop in, um, was it the Evening Standard? And I said, only in at Marylebone would a shop just open one afternoon a week. No, it's not or, one afternoon. So when is it? She's being so shy. Every afternoon between one and five. Oh, it is every afternoon. Apart from Sundays. Okay, so, and look at the jewellery, everyone. Look at the jewellery. My Missoma earrings were from here, the ones that I wear. Look at these, her jewellery is, uh, truly, you will find things, oh my gosh, I love that bracelet. You will find things, I'm talking to you here, you will find things that you will never see anywhere else because she just collects what she likes, basically, and puts it in a shop, that's what she's always done. She still has a turntable. She has vinyl, and she has Phyllis Nelson. And if you time it properly, you can come in and um, you can listen to your favourite soundtracks. What's that? You can have a request. She will just put on a request as you shop. So it's 66 Bolstrode Street and it's open every afternoon apart from Sunday at one o'clock. Good luck and please, whoever gets the gold leather skirt, let me know. Oh, this is just the most glorious, glorious day. And Myrtle is loving her walk. She um, didn't turn left, she turned right, but I did a sneaky left when she didn't realize. Come on. And we're going, she has to stay on the lead on this part of the, of the park because of all the birds, but, because um, we're going past the geese. But then when we get to the other side over the bridge, she can run which she loves. Look at that. Good girl, Matt. Yes. I think this is where we are going to end the vlog this week. Um, sitting under a tree in Regent's Park because it is so beautiful. It really is so beautiful. And I do think that, gosh, there's the light, Joe, find the light. I do think, in all seriousness, I am sleep deprived most of the week. By the end of the week, I am, 
running on empty is too dramatic. I could just keep going because I have a great life. But I don't think at working the hours I work are helping me. But I don't think there's anything um, that can be done about it. Um, but I don't think at 67, really, those hours are healthy. But as I say, it's a case of take it or leave it. <laughs> and with what's happening in the world at the moment, I'm lucky to be in work. I truly am lucky. But this is what I love. I love this channel. I love your comments. I love your support. I love your positivity. You know, you're all positive. No one's nasty on this channel. And I just love that. Anyway, the details of whatever I've mentioned. This vlog is not sponsored. There's no one has paid me. I I put in to the vlogs the companies and the entrepreneurs that I really admire. So um, it's not paid for. <laughs> but I will list below uh, where I've been and uh, what I've looked at and um, you can try it all for yourself. Please subscribe. Oh, no Dave this week, only because I'm going to finish the vlog here. Um, and um, he'll be back on it next week. Please subscribe, please, please. Um, I'm crawling up the 50s to get to the 100s um, and give us a thumbs up because apparently all that helps the algorithm, apparently. So for Myrtle and myself, Mert, did you love your boyfriend? He was called Dumpling. <laughs> Bye. Oh, this week's walkers. I never mention them. I never know who they are until they appear. So here come this week's walkers. Thank you for sending them. I'm walking. Here's the